This example demonstrates how Bayesian networks allows us to represent and calculate probabilities for uncertain events even in the complex systems with multiple dependencies. Hello everyone, welcome to Being Passionate Learner. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to discuss Bayesian networks. Bayesian network is a powerful tool in artificial intelligence for representing uncertain knowledge. Whether you are a beginner or someone brushing up on concepts, this video will give you a clear understanding of Bayesian networks and how to solve problems using them. So let's get started. Here is what we are going to discuss in this video. We will start with an introduction to Bayesian networks understanding their components like nodes, ages and probabilities. Then we will discuss conditional independence and joint probability distribution which forms the backbone of Bayesian networks. We will also explore some real world examples before solving a problem step by step. By the end you will have a solid foundation for mastering Bayesian networks. Let's begin with the basic. A Bayesian network is a graphical model that represents probabilistic relationships among a set of variables. It is a directed acyclic graph where nodes represent random variables. Ages are directed links showing casual relationships between the variables. Probabilities are assigned to these relationships through conditional probability tables or CPTs. The key advantage of Bayesian network is that they allow us to model uncertain knowledge in a structured and efficient way. Here is a simple example of Bayesian network. Consider three variables, cloudy, rain, sprinkler. Cloudy which might influence whether it rains, rain which might determine whether we turn on the sprinkler. The arrow here indicates casual relationships, cloudy and rain, rain and sprinkler. We can use probabilities to describe these relationships such as the probability of rain given that it is cloudy or the probability of turning on sprinkler given rain. So this structure helps us break down complex systems into manageable relationships. Conditional independence and joint probability. A crucial concept in Bayesian networks is conditional independence. Two nodes are conditionally independent if knowing one does not provide additional information about the other, given a third variable. For example, once we know Ren, the relationship between cloudy and sprinkle becomes irrelevant. Another key concept is the joint probability distribution, which describes the probability of all variables in the network occurring together. Using the chain rule of probability, we can decompose the joint probability distribution into simpler terms. For instance, for three variables x, y, z, we can write joint probability of x, y, z is equals to probability of x into probability of y given x into probability of z given y. This factorization is what makes Bayesian networks computationally efficient. Real world examples of Bayesian network. Bayesian networks are widely used in real world applications. For example, in medical diagnosis, symptoms like fever or cough help predict the likelihood of a disease. In weather prediction, we can model relationships like cloudy rain, wet grass. In spam detection, the words or phases in an email are used to predict the probability that the email is spam. These examples demonstrate how Bayesian networks simplify complex, uncertain systems into clear and manageable models. Let's dive into an example to understand how Bayesian networks work in practice. In this example, we will explore a network with five nodes, smoking, lung cancer, x-ray, bronchitis and coughing. These nodes represent the relationships between smoking habits, the likelihood of lung cancer or bronchitis and their symptoms like coughing and x-ray results. We will solve a problem stepwise using law of total probability and conditional probability tables. Here is the structure of our Bayesian network. Smoking affects both lung cancer and bronchitis. Lung cancer affects x-ray results and also contributes to coughing. Bronchitis also contributes to coughing. 
the relationships are represented by directed edges in the graph and the dependences between the variables are captured in conditional probability tables our goal is to calculate the probability of coughing denoted as probability of k is equals to true to do this we will combine information from all the dependencies in the network before solving let's look at the probabilities provided in the problem smoking represented as s has a prior probability probability of s is equals to true is 0.3 lung cancer represented as a c it depends on smoking probability of c is equals to true given s is equals to true is 0.6 probability of c is equals to true given s is equals to false is equals to 0.05 bronchitis represented as b it also depends on smoking probability of b is equals to true given s is equals to true is 0.4 probability of b is equals to true given s is equals to false is 0.1 x-ray represented as x depends on lung cancer probability of x is equals to true given c is equals to true is 0.9 probability of x is equals to true c is equals to false is equals to 0.2 coughing represented as a k it depends on both lung cancer and bronchitis if both c and b are true then probability of k is equals to true is 0.8 other combinations follow from the cpt provided we will use this data to compute probability of k is equals to true so let's start by calculating marginal probability of lung cancer c using the law of total probability the formula is probability of c is equals to true is equals to probability of c is equals to true given s is equals to true into probability of s is equals to true plus probability of c is equals to true given s is equals to false into probability of s is equals to false substituting the values probability of c is equals to true is equals to 0.6 into 0.3 plus 0.05 into 0.7 equals to 0.18 plus 0.035 is equals to 0.215 so the probability of lung cancer is 0.215 and its complement is probability of c is equals to false is equals to 1 minus 0.215 which is equals to 0.785 next step let's calculate the marginal probability of bronchitis so we will use here formula probability of b is equals to true is equals to probability of b is equals to true given s is equals to true into probability of s is equals to true plus probability of b is equals to true given s is equals to false into probability of s is equals to false substituting the values we will get probability of b is equals to true is equals to 0.4 into 0.3 plus 0.1 into 0.7 which evaluates to 0.19 so the probability of bronchitis is probability of b is equals to true is 0.19 and its complement is probability of b is equals to false is equals to 1 minus 0.19 is equals to 0.81 now step 3 is combine probabilities to find out probability of k is equals to true using the law of total probability we will have probability of k is equals to true which is equals to summation of probability of k is equals to true given c b into probability of a c into probability of b this formula accounts for all combinations of c and b that is true and false and let's calculate it step by step so first we will calculate c is equals to true and b is equals to true so it will be probability of k is equals to true given c is equals to true b is equals to true which is 0.8 then probability of c is equals to true is equals to 0.215 and probability of b is equals to true is 0.19 we have calculated this in previous slides okay so we will get p is equals to 0.8 into 0.215 into 0.19 
which is equals to 0 0.03268. Then C is equals to true and B is equals to false. So probability of K is equals to true given C is equals to true, B is equals to false is 0 0.6. Then probability of C is equals to true is equals to 0 0.215 and probability of B is equals to false is equals to 0 0.81. Uh, so it will be 0 0.6 into 0 0.215 into 0 0.81 which is equals to 0 0.10449. C is equals to false, B is equals to true. So probability of K is equals to true given C is equals to false, B is equals to true is equals to 0 0.5. Probability of C is equals to false is equals to 0 0.785. Probability of B is equals to true is 0 0.19. So probability will be 0 0.5 into 0 0.785 into 0 0.19 which is equals to 0 0.074. 5, 8. Then we will consider C is equals to false and B is equals to false. So we will have probability of K is equals to true, C is equals to false, B is equals to false which is 0 0.1. Probability of C is equals to false is equals to 0 0.785. Probability of B is equals to false is equals to 0 0.81. And probability equals to 0 0.1 into 0 0.785 into 0 0.81 which is equals to 0 0.063585 adding all these together we will get probability of k is equals to true which is equals to 0 0.03268 plus 0 0.10449 plus 0 0.07458 plus 0 0.063 585 which is equals to 0 0.275. The probability of coughing is approximately 27.5%. Now let's recap this example. We use the law of total probability to calculate marginal probability for C and B. Then we calculated these probabilities with the conditional probabilities for coughing that is K. Finally, we computed probability of K is equals to true which is 0 0.275. This example demonstrates how Bayesian networks allows us to represent and calculate probabilities for uncertain events even in the complex systems with multiple dependencies. To summarize, Bayesian networks allows us to represent uncertain knowledge in a clear and efficient manner. By modeling casual relationships and using probabilities, we can simplify complex systems. We also explore the importance of conditional independence and how real-world problems like medical diagnosis and weather prediction can benefit from Bayesian networks. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now have a solid understanding of how Bayesian networks work and how to solve problems using Bayesian network. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more such contents. See you next time. Till then, being passionate learner, keep learning. Thank you.